how's everybody doing today? I hope that everybody's doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, my name is Carla. If you haven't been here before, welcome. And if you have, welcome back. Um, so today I have my favorite products of 2019. Now, I'm not going to title this the best products of 2019 because these are my favorite products of 2019. This is what I've been using, um, what I used a lot last year basically every single day um, and I wanted to share that with you maybe there's something in here that you've been wanting to try and you want to know if it's good or not so or maybe things that you didn't know existed and you want to give them a try now because you know I'm telling you they're good <laughs> I don't know but um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, now I will tell you that I don't have like I mean, I have a lot of stuff, but I don't have, like, a lot of things, you know, because um, in my normal life, when I'm not making YouTube videos, I am a very simple girl. I don't really wear much eyeshadow or eyeliner or um, lipstick or any of that, so you're not going to see a lot of those things here. I'm just mainly going to focus on everything that I truly, truly, truly did love last year, all the things that I've been using on the daily. So, um yeah so let's get started because i hope this video is not that long okay so the first thing that i used a lot last year um was this Too Faced um sugar peach uh wet dry face and eye palette i actually got this for christmas last year from my sister and i'm in love with this palette i am in love with this palette i used it so much as you can see i gave it a lot of love um and just like it says it's the face and eye palette um it has blush bronzer highlight and then all these shades you can also use them for um for eyeshadow and this was my favorite blush right here which is called peach pop it's like a like just like it says like a peachy color but it's very shiny it's very shimmery is what i'm wearing on my cheeks right now and if you put this on you don't necessarily need to um put highlight but of course i did because um I love highlight so of course I had to um, but you don't really need highlight with this because I think that it's glowy enough on its own as you can see and I also use the bronzer um, today so I am glowy <laughs> uh, when I use this palette I get a lot of compliments on how like beautiful my skin looks how um, shiny and healthy it looks and it's all because of this palette so this is one that I used a lot last year um, my favorite bronzer of the entire year, and you guys have heard me talk about this in previous videos, was the L'Oreal True Match uh, Bronzed, and mine is in the shade, if I could find the shade, oh, uh, share, uh, shade number one, which is light, and I also have share, uh, shade number two, and I love this bronzer as you can tell I hit pan on it I don't hit pan on a lot of my things because I'm constantly trying something new but this I hit pan on because it was my favorite bronzer of the entire year um, and it is shiny as well I put it on top of the um, Too Faced one as well and I have it on my nose this is my favorite bronzer I love this thing so so much I hope that they never take it away because I will cry because this is like my favorite bronzer ever and it's huge it's gonna last you a really long time so love that um my favorite blush of the entire year was the Milani Luminoso I actually bought this blush because I heard Kathleen Lights talk about it and she was not wrong look look at how much I've used this has like a little like bump and I've gone through the whole bump like I use this almost every single day it's my favorite blush it has like a peachy tone which I love and it also has a glow to it which I am loving glowy blushes right now love them so much um let's see what else okay foundations foundations that i've been loving this year my number one foundation that i loved in 2019 was the physician's formula be healthy foundation i used mine in the color mn4 it's what i have on right now this is my perfect shade and it's my perfect foundation 
foundation it makes my skin look so nice so healthy it's light coverage which i love it's my favorite every single day foundation i love it this is the second one that i've gone through or that i'm going through and i have a third for backup because this foundation is kind of expensive it's actually $16.99 at target and i think it's like either either 13 or 14 dollars at walmart not sure um and i think it's like 17 dollars at alta so yeah it's a pretty expensive foundation so whenever it's on sale at alta that's when i stuck up and recently they had it for 7.99 so i bought two of them so i am good for the, this year <laughs> okay and then my full coverage foundation that i've been loving is the revolution um, or the Makeup Revolution uh, Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I love this one. They recently came out with the hydrating one, but I don't really like that one as much as I like this one. And mind you, I have like super dry skin, and this is a mattifying formula, but it's actually really, really nice on my skin. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look dry. It actually looks really, really good, and it's a lot better than the hydrating one. I like the hydrating, but not as much as this one. So, um, yeah, I've been loving this one, and my shade in this one is F8. Another foundation that I've been loving um, in 2019 is this one by Doll 10, and it's called the Hydra Lux Smoothing Foundation. This foundation is actually very similar to the Physician's Formula, but it has a little bit more coverage. But again, it's such a beautiful foundation. It makes my skin look healthy. It makes it look hydrating. It's just a really, really nice foundation. And you can get Doll 10 through HSN. That is the only place that I know of. It might be sold somewhere else, but as far as I know, um, I got mine in HSN. HSN. So, yeah. Um, a BB cream that I've actually been loving, um, or a tinted moisturizer, whatever you want to call it, is the um, Balm Shelter one. And I have mine in the shade Medium. I love this thing like it's so nice on those days when I'm not really feeling foundation I put this on and it's really 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 good like it has a little bit of um, a coverage so you know enough to like hide little imperfections here and there but it's not heavy you can't really feel it it's really nice I love this um, tinted moisturizer it's actually my favorite one that I've tried so far so um, let's move on to, let's do highlight. Um, so one highlight that I've been loving this year is the Makeup Obsession Mega Honey Highlighter in the shade Mega Honey. And it's like a bake highlighter, but it's so pretty. It's so, so, so pretty. Um, I am wearing all the Too Faced stuff today on my face, so I'm not, I don't have this one on, but it's one of my favorite 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 highlights ever i just feel like it i feel like it doesn't look powdery on my skin like when i wet it with my setting powder i feel like it looks like my skin like it's just wet it's just it's so beautiful i can't explain it it's just so 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 beautiful it looks so healthy it looks so nice and yeah it quickly became one of my favorite highlights of the year I also love this um, highlighter called Glow Highlighter in Golden by e.l.f. And it's like their coconut line. This highlighter is so pretty and it's kind of like a putty highlight, which is kind of interesting. But it's such a beautiful, beautiful highlight. Um, and it smells like coconut as well. <laughs> but it's just, again, it just looks really healthy on my skin. It doesn't look powdery or anything. It just looks like a natural glow, which I love so much. So this quickly became another one of my favorites. I also have the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amoresi highlight. Um, I think, I'm not quite sure. I don't know if they made it part of their like permanent line or if they brought it back for a while, but it's still available. Um, I'm blinding you, but this is what the highlight looks like. It's so, so pretty. Um, this is the highlight that I go for whenever I have like a special event coming or, or something like that, something that I really want to like make my makeup look amazing. That is the highlight that I reach for. Um, it's beautiful. I just, I love it. 
Um, let's see. I have a couple of Too Faced things that I've been loving, loving. Um, the first one is the Tutti Frutti Pineapple Paradise Bronzer Highlighting Duo. This is so pretty. The bronzer and the highlight both, and the packaging is gorgeous. So this is what it looks like right here. It's just so, so pretty. I actually got it during an Ulta sale event that they were having. I can't remember which one it is, but it was like half off or it was more than half off. I can't really remember. I remember that I got it for like, I think like 10 or $12 and it doesn't disappoint. Like it's so, so good. It's really, really good. And I also been loving this uh, fruit cocktail blush duo also by um, Too Faced. And this is the berries and bubbly. The packaging again is so cute and this is what the blush and highlight look like I love this it's so pretty because the blush just like it says is like a berry color so the blushes that I gravitate more towards are either peachy in tone or like a berry tone like a dark berry those are the blushes that I usually gra gravitate to so this is perfect another thing that I've been loving like I use it almost every single day for work I'm not lying it's so beautiful I'm in love with it it's the MAC face palette so this is the star dipped face compact um, palette in light first of all the packaging is so cute it's like this glittery packaging but the glitter it doesn't come off or anything it's just it's there and this is what it looks like on the inside. You get two blushes and two highlights. And this palette is so pretty. I just love it. Um, you get more of like a peachy blush. A um, peachy, like a pinky. Wait, I don't even know what I said. Hold on. Re rewind. You get more of like a pinky color and a peachy color. And then with the highlights, you get one that's more like champagne. And one that looks white. It actually looks white on the pan but when you put it on it's like a pinky highlight it's beautiful I didn't think I was gonna like this but I actually do I like it a lot so this has quickly became my favorite face palette it actually reminds me a lot of the Too Faced one but they're very different like they're similar but very different um, so yeah I've been loving loving this palette here's the two blushes and here's the two highlights I love it I love it and I know that it's only like for the holidays but if you can get your hands on it do because it's beautiful like it's beautiful and then one bronzer that I've been loving as well going back to the bronzers sorry that this is all over the place but I'm just reaching and grabbing um so I saw Kathleen lights talk about this and she had it on in the video that she was talking about. And before she even talked about the bronzer, when I first saw her, I was like, what bronzer is she using? She looks so pretty. Like, that bronzer looks so good. And then, like, later on in the video, she explained what bronzer she was using. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so she was using the Kiko Milano C Sicilian Notes bronzer. This is what the packaging looks like. This is what the bronzer looks like and it's like it's like an orangey bronzer and then it has like this pinky middle on it but if you swirl all together it's just it looks so beautiful it looks so natural on the skin it looks like you got like it looks like you got the perfect tan like the perfect natural tan it's just so beautiful i don't know how to explain it but as soon as i stopped watching that video i went online I went on Ulta because I know that's the only place that I know of that sells Kiko Milano. And I, it was on sale. So I quickly got on that horse because I just love the way that she looked on her video. Like she looked amazing. And when she said what bronzer it was and it was on sale on top of that, yeah, I had to get it. Okay, and then... So remember how in the beginning of this video I told you that I don't really wear eyeshadow much throughout the day. Um, for work, you know, it's just mascara and blush and color a day. <laughs> um, but the one eyeshadow that I've been using like all the time 
Like, don't get me wrong. <sighs> Throughout the year, I tried and tested a lot of um, eyeshadow palettes, uh, but it was for like videos. So on my everyday life, or for the days, you know, that maybe I didn't want to wear um, eyeshadow at work or something, the one that I was using the most was the um, Aladdin and MAC um, eyeshadow palette. This is so, so pretty. First of all, the packaging is so, so pretty. But the shades inside, this one right here in the middle is the one that I use the most. This is the one that I'm wearing today. And then I wear this one on my crease. Um, and this is the eyeshadow palette that I gravitate to the most when I just want a quick look. When I just want uh, to do something uh, nice but not really take too much time. This is what I go for. And I love it. And I know that it's limited edition. And I'm so sorry going back to that limited edition thing. Um... <sighs> I just I really really like this eyeshadow palette and if you can get your hands on it still do because it's so so pretty I'm going to be honest with you guys I am NOT the biggest fan of Mac eyeshadows I haven't had the best of luck with some of the shadows that I've used from their um, line but that really really did impress me and I really really do like that eyeshadow palette okay so moving on the two main primers that I've been using in 2019, or that I used in 2019, was the Tasha's uh, Silk Canvas and the e.l.f. Putty Primer. Now, you've heard a lot of people say that these two are dupes for one another. Um, yes and no, in my opinion. Um, I feel like the Tasha one is a lot more drying and more mattifying than the e.l.f. putty one. And to be quite honest with you, because of my dry skin, I actually prefer the e.l.f. one a lot better. So I feel like the e.l.f. one, it's very hydrating and as you can tell, it's been loved. I feel like this one is very um, hydrating and it's very nice and smooth on my skin and um, I like it a lot better a lot better than the Tasha one which is like four times the price yeah but I've also been using this one of course because it was so expensive I have to use it I have to finish it but I probably won't repurchase it just because I do like the elf one better and it's like four times less the price so but it is a good one it is it, it's a good primer it's it's a lot thicker than the e.l.f. one, but it's also a lot more mattifying than the e.l.f. one. So for my dry skin, I prefer the e.l.f. The powder that I've been using the most um, in 2019 was the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, in Translucent. Yeah. I think it's in translucent. Yeah, in translucent. Um, this is the powder that I've been using the most. And as you can tell, I still have a lot. And I use this powder every single time I do my makeup. This is the only powder. This is the only one that I keep in my bathroom at all times. Um, I have a basket of my powders and my um, foundations. And I keep it over here. And I have another basket of primers and setting sprays that I keep on a drawer under my bathroom. And then the pro the products that I that I use every single day, I keep in a little like um, in a little thing in my in top of my bathroom. And those are the products that I keep there that I use on a daily, like for work and for quick makeup and stuff when I just want to go do like errands and stuff like that and this is the powder that always stays there and this is the powder that I use every single day every single day um this I'm gonna be like super real with you guys these are the four products that don't leave my bathroom these are the ones that I use on a daily basis for work for quick makeup looks for just anything these four products don't leave my bathroom. These are my go-tos. Um, let's see. As far as concealer goes, um, I've been trying so many concealers last year. I tried so many concealers last year. It's not even funny. Like, I have my drawer and it's full with concealers. 
But the two that stood out the most for me that I can't stop using is the Juvia's Place Concealer. And I have mine in shade 19. And the uh, Boyne, Boyne Cakeless Concealer by Benefit. These two concealers are my favorite ones. These are the ones that I've been loving the most. They topped every single concealer that I've used in 2019. These two, hands down, are the best for me. Um, let's see. As far as eyeliner goes, the only eyeliner that I gravitate to is the Makeup Revolution Renaissance Eyeliner. This is the only one that I gravitate to the most. This is the only one that I use. Um, it's long lasting. It's super black is what I'm wearing today. I love this stuff. And the one that I usually put on my waterline, um, depending on the look obviously, but mainly is all the time. Um, is this Cargo Cosmetics number 10 in Dorado Beach. This is the one that I have on right now. This is the one that I use mainly all the time, like I said, depending on the look. Because sometimes I do looks that I want to add maybe a little bit of color or maybe like a black eyeliner would look better. Um, but this one is the one that I use all the, thing, all the, all the time. Is this one. All the time. Okay, as far as mascara goes, again... 2019, I tried a lot of mascaras. As I've said in my previous videos before, I don't wear falsies. I don't like them. Um, I do have plans on playing with more falsies in other videos. Um, but I don't wear them. I feel like my eyelashes are naturally long and I really don't feel the need to use falsies. Um, so I'm very picky with my mascaras. Very, very picky. I love volume. I love length. Um, and so if the mascara is not gonna give me that, then forget it. I don't want it. <laughs> so the one that I've been using every single time is the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. This mascara, when I first got it, I'm gonna be honest, when I first used it, I hated it. I didn't like it. I felt like the um, applicator was too big. I felt like it was getting all over my face. Um, I just didn't like it. But the drier the formula got, the more I liked it. And it quickly became my favorite mascara. It gives me volume, it gives me length, it gives me everything that I look for in a mascara. And plus, it's easy to remove, it doesn't give me a hard time, and it doesn't transfer to the bottom of my eyes, like a lot of other mascaras that I like do. <laughs> like, uh, there's a lot of mascaras that I love that always transfer at the end of the day. And when I look in the mirror, I have like black underneath. I hate that. And this is the only mascara that doesn't do that. So it quickly became my favorite mascara. Plus it's easy to remove, which I love because I don't feel like I'm damaging my lashes by trying to remove the mascara. Um, let's see, as far as eyeshadow primer goes, um, I have two favorites. The first one is the Milani eyeshadow primer and the Marc Jacobs um, eyeshadow primer. So I got this one at TJ Maxx last year and I quickly fell in love with it. I feel like it does help my um, shadow last all day and not crease. And then the same thing with the Milani one. I feel like it's just, they make my shadow last all day and not crease. And I see the difference because there's been a couple of times that I've forgotten to put on primer before I do my eyeshadow and I can I can tell how important this process is because when I look in the mirror and my eyeshadow is creasing, yeah, we got a problem. Um, as far as lip products that I've been loving, like I said, I don't really use like lipstick or liquid lipsticks or glosses on a daily. So the, the three main lip products that I've been using are the... Uh, Milani Keep It Smooth Lip Treatment, and I use this mostly at night before bed, and I love it. I feel like it just it makes my lips look so smooth and feel so soft. And actually, this is a recent favorite of mine. I actually um, showed it to you guys on my um, uh, Dollar Tree makeup that I did not that long ago, and it's their... It's the LA Colors Lip Oil in Watermelon. This has quickly become one of my favorite lip oils and I use it every single morning before I go to work because I just, it, it gives my 
it gives my lips like a nice shine but it also makes them so soft and smooth I, I can't stop using it and then another recent favorite it's the Bath and Body Works um, Mentha Lip Shine. This stuff is so good. It gives you shine and it makes your lips so nice and soft all day. And it lasts a really, really long time on the lips. Like if you don't eat or drink anything, like it lasts a really long time. So um, this has quickly become my favorite product. And this is actually one that I keep in my purse. So I need to go back and put it because I don't want to forget it. And then I'm going to be looking for it. Um, as far as eyebrows go, um, I love this uh, Bear With Me Cannabis um, Seed Oil. This is what I've been using mostly. Like, I hate doing my brows. Hate it. Hate it. I am not good at it, and I just, I hate it. But I do hate whenever the hairs are sticking up or not looking right. So I use this every single day to kind of tame the hairs. And then as far as like a lip gloss that I've been enjoying, that I've been using, um, it's the Fenty Beauty uh, Lip Gloss in Fussy. This is uh, one of my favorite ones. I actually keep this one in my purse. And every time that I want to use a gloss, that's the one that I use. So moving on to like some things that are not like makeup related. Um, one of my favorite lotions, and I put this on every single night before I go to bed, um, is the Jergens Ultra, Ultra Healing um, Extra Dry Moisturizer. This stuff is so good. Like, this is empty already. I'm scraping the bottom because I need to buy a new one. But this is what I use on my feet every single night before I go to bed. And I kid you not, I have baby soft feet because I am very obsessed with um, not seeing any dry patches on my feet feet at all like I hate it when I see people walking down the street with sandals and their feet are dry I cringe so hard I can't stand it and I don't want to be one of those so I'm obsessed with keeping my feet nice and hydrated and this is what I go to every single night this is what I put on my feet another thing on top of that is the um, wet and wild uh, photo focus rose multi-use oil I've talked about this on my channel before um, I hate this product on my face hate it it does not soak in and it just messes with the foundation I hate this product on my face hate it but on my feet it's amazing like this is the most amazing oil for my feet that I've ever ever used and this one is already empty but I have another one next to my bed that's how much I love it and I am so happy and glad that Wet n Wild is still selling this um, on their website so yeah this is the best for my feet um, my favorite sponge is the Real Techniques um, face and body sponge this is my favorite sponge Ever. When I don't have this and I have to use something else, I can't. I feel like my makeup is not right. That is my go-to. That is my favorite. Um, oh, two things that I fell in love this year. I fell in love with these like so, so hard. Um, they are the Sephora brand. I have the All Day Hydrator, which is right here. And I have the Clean Skin Gel, which is right here. I love this product. I finally found a cleanser that I know works and I love. It leaves my skin super soft. It leaves my skin hydrated and I know that it removed most of my makeup. I'm always going to purchase this because it quickly became my favorite cleanser. It's amazing. Like I tell you, it's amazing. I've been struggling with trying to find a cleanser that does not dry my skin because my skin is already dry and I feel like all of the cleansers that I've used and tried have left my skin super dry. This does not do that. Um, and then when I use it and I like look at my hands, I can see all the foundation that it took off. So it's a really good cleanser. I love it. And then the All Day Hydrator. Oh my gosh, it's the best hydrating moisturizer I've used ever. It leaves my skin so nice and soft. Um, I don't feel dry at all. And it goes underneath makeup beautifully. And you can get these products individually, but I usually buy the, um, the little kit that comes with both of these and a face mask. 
Um, and that was like $20 as to where each of these we think is like 10 or a little bit more than $10. So I think that the kit is the best value. And I'm always going to purchase those because they are my favorite. Um, and then I also fell in love with these two um, products from Formula 1006. Um, so I have the On Your Skin Mark Blemish Mark Fader and the Nourishing Spray Toner. So this is really, really good. Like when I see a, a little pimple or zit coming on and I put this on, the next day it's fading and if I put it on the next day, the following day it's gone. Like it's really, really good. I love this product a lot. And then this, I love to spray it. Um, on days when I'm not wearing makeup because it, it does make my skin feel a little oily, but I do feel like it's protected. Um, there was a time where my skin was just really, really bad. I had breakouts a lot. I don't know if it was something that I was using, something that I was trying. And when I incorporated those products into my routine, my face cleared. Like I have nothing on my skin right now and it's because of those products and I use them every single day. So I do do feel like they work like they they're really really good and um, my favorite setting spray of 2019 it's the, the covergirl active outlast this is so good like it's so good it makes my makeup last all day um, it keeps me nice and tight in there um, I just I really really love that I do Feel and see the difference when I use a different setting spray so I always go back to that and I'm almost out so I have to purchase a different one or another one not a different one another one um and oh my favorite face mask of the year was the I do care sugar kitten uh, face mask oh my gosh it's a peel off mask you guys but it's so nice I hate peel off masks because I feel like I'm peeling my soul like it's just it they're so painful especially on your cheeks area they are so painful but this one it's not and the best part about this mask is that usually with peel off masks I feel like my skin is really really dry and I usually have to like quickly put on a like hydrating moisturizer because I feel dry but with this one I don't like this mask leaves my skin like super hydrated and super moisturizer like I don't even have to put anything on top of it because it makes it feel really really good so this quickly became my favorite favorite mask of the year and then I have three products left so the third the third product from the last um, is the uh, Rimmel London Lash Accelerator. I love this stuff. Like when I wear mascara every single day, I do sometimes feel like my lashes suffer a little bit. I do feel like um, I lose a lot of lashes when I cleanse. Um, and maybe sometimes I don't feel like they're as long as I normally know that my lashes are. So I try to put this every single night. Sometimes I forget. I know I have to be better at it, but sometimes I do forget. But when I put this on, like I see the difference in my lashes. Like I see that it does help them grow and it helps them um, look healthier and better. So I love this product. Um, and then the second last is um, the Black Cherry Merlot Hand Cream from Bath & Body Works. Actually, I'm done with this one, but I have another one. I love this scent. This was my favorite scent of 2019. And the hand lotion is also really, really good. It leaves my, my hands really soft and really nice. And the best part is that it's not oily. Some hand lotions tend to leave my hands oily, that one doesn't, which is nice. It quickly absorbs into my skin, but it also leaves my skin feeling nice and soft. So, yay for that one. And then my last favorite product of 2019. You guys, this... This is the best product ever. Like, it's the best product ever. This is the Sally Hansen Color Therapy... Um, what do you call it? Top Coat for your nails oh my god I have never tried a better top coat for my nails 
before this one and this one has argan oil on it it's the best I'm telling you is the best it leaves my nails looking really shiny really healthy and it dries them really quickly yeah it dries my nail polish super fast um, I usually I love doing my nails like before bed because I know that I'm not gonna be doing anything else I'm not gonna touch anything and mess them up so usually I do my nails before bed and um, before I was using this product I tend to notice that sometimes I would place my nails like on my bed sheet or on my pillow and so I will have like markings on my nails um, even though I would leave them drying for like 40 minutes to an hour before I actually went to sleep in the morning I would still wake up with those um, markings since I've been using this my nails dry so fast like I am able to touch them and feel that they're dry and in the mornings I don't wake up with those marks I'm telling you like this is amazing this was the best find for my nails that I found in 2019 like this is the best and I I was waiting for the right video to talk about it and this is it like this is the best time that I can find to talk about this because <laughs> I don't really talk about nail polishes or nail products on my on my channel but you guys like trust me this is the best product for your nails that I found in 2019 I love that stuff and I'm gonna keep purchasing it always as long as they make it I'm gonna keep purchasing it because I honestly do I love it I enjoy it it leaves my nails looking beautiful um, but yeah, you guys, that is all. That was all of my favorite products of 2019. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if I talked so much. Um, but yeah, I wanted to tell you so much things in a limited amount of time. I'm trying, I'm trying not to edit a lot of videos. So, you know, the ones that I can just talk about things and quickly move on. Um, those are the ones that I feel like I don't really need to edit. So, you're getting me raw. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Join my channel. Join it. We are at 100 subscribers and I want to keep growing. So please um, join my channel. Um, and yeah, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.